big one is the, the drain in the press after you ferment it. And, uh, and uh, uh, if I can brag about John, I, I think he took a really, really challenging year and made an absolutely superb wine out of it. And it goes, uh, I, I think, to another question that, that we had at the table here, which is, okay, you know, we're used to Bordeaux and vintages and vintage variations. Um, what's the deal in Napa with vintages and variations? And my, you know, my short answer to that is, um, like the rest of California, you've got to go back to that humble current and what's what's going on with the fog and the coolness and the air conditioning and that sort of thing. You know, typically, opposite of Bordeaux, which has its great vintages in slightly warmer years, um, Napa will have its great vintages in slightly cooler cooler years. So when you when you open up. Uh, you know, whatever you're reading with Jancis Robinson in it, she says it was a great year for Pinot and Napa. I say buy the Cabernet. Not no I mean, of course buy the Pinot. I have lovely friends who make Pinot and Napa, and you should buy their wines. But, but, but the cooler years for us have a tendency to be more structured, and have a tendency to give us more time to make those critical decisions throughout the throughout the growing season. Whereas a warmer year like like, like 04 and, and actually 03 was, was was pretty tough as well. Uh, in those years, you really got to make a lot of a lot of decisions, but generally speaking, the the width, the, the sort of the range of variation for us in, in Napa is is a little narrow. We don't we don't you know we, mostly because we don't get those you know those rains during harvest, which can, which can really be a, you know those are not fun, right? And so we're quite fortunate in California. In my lifetime, let's see, uh, eighty eight, eighty nine, rain. Um, and let me see, 93 and uh, 08. How many was that? I'm probably, I'm probably forgetting one. It's probably three or four, right? That I, where we've had to face rain, and I don't mean you know rain like, you know like Porto gets. I mean just kind of a little, just enough to sort of start some botrytis and make you really get nervous, right? You know, get a little jumpy. Uh, so uh, you know, that's that's not very many. So we're very, very privileged to have this sort of natural, naturally dry and, and moderate climate, particularly during harvest. So uh, in, in his absence, I toast John Emmerich, who's a fabulous winemaker. I think the 04 